guys, the Benidorm enthusiast here. Today we're taking you for a tour around the busiest street in the Midtown area. Where's Midtown you ask? Well, this area has always been known by locals as Centro, but more recently it's been dubbed Midtown by the Brits. I love the name and it's very fitting as it's right in the middle of the old town and the new town. This area has really come into its own in recent years. It's got a different feel to the two most famous areas in Benidorm, the old town and the new town. And today we're going to take you for a tour down the busiest street for restaurants and bars. We're going to show you exactly what's on it and stop at a few places on the way. This part of Calle Girona was pedestrianised around seven years ago and that's when it first started really taking off. Starting at the end closest to the new town, the first restaurant you'll see is the 1111 Brazilian Barbecue Steakhouse. This is a buffet style Brazilian steakhouse, a set price and you get loads of different meats. I have tried it, we did a video on it and if you want to see that and have a closer look, check the video description for the link. On the opposite corner is Winner's Bar and I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with this place, it's where I used to work. Not there anymore but it is still a great sports bar worth a visit. To winners is Trisapori Italian Restaurant and Pizzeria. This is a fairly new one, only been open a few months. It was previously known as Nam Nam, but they've still got the massive pizza oven, which is a big feature for this restaurant. <laughs> Next along is the Tower Lounge and this is one of the longest running British bars in the whole of Benidorm. John and Elaine have been here 23 years but they have recently announced their retirement. They'll be leaving at the end of October and handing the reins over to Ron who's got a place just over the road. <laughs> opposite the tower lounge is the halfway house and Ron has made a real success of this since opening it a couple of years ago. It's become known as a great restaurant to come for good quality British food. Ron takes over the tower lounge it's going to become an extension of the halfway house a place for pre and post dinner drinks and entertainment <laughs> Next to the halfway house is the Crown or De Crew, a Dutch bar and restaurant and another one on this street which is long established. Great little bar this and I know it's the cameraman's favourite place to come for a steak. <laughs> La Tijuana is straight opposite the Crown and this is a Mexican restaurant. On this street you've got flavours from all over the world. If you're looking for a bit of a step up from your typical pub grub in the new town, I'm sure you'll find something on this street which suits your tastes. <laughs> Next along we've got three steakhouses, the Golden Bull, the Argentinian 
and the black Angus. My favourite out of these three is the Argentinian, but I can't comment on the other two as I haven't tried them yet. What you will find on this street is that a lot of the restaurants close one day a week, so what's open will depend on the day that you come down. Toscana is next along, another Italian restaurant and pizzeria. This is another place which has been around for ages and it's a real favourite with the locals. India Gate is next to Long, straight opposite Toscana. And this is probably the longest running Indian owned Indian restaurant in Benidorm. I've used it for years and I can honestly say I've never had a bad meal. pub is next to Long and this place has been going 42 years. Rafa is a real character and this is another place I used to work in fact. I had some really memorable nights in here and a few that I don't remember at all. The street from Rock Sands is El Bodigon. This is a Spanish restaurant but probably the one that is most popular with the Brits on this street. They do a real good job of explaining the dishes for you here so if you're not sure about Spanish food and don't know what to order try this place and they'll explain the menu for you. Two Italian restaurants next along, right opposite each other, La Tarantella and Da Mustache. I've not tried either of these but I've heard very good things about both. Places for us to get on our list to visit in the future. Solo Bui is next along and this is a steakhouse. Lots of different special menus advertised outside. It looks like really good value for money. The last Italian on this street is Luciano. This is a real snazzy looking place. It does stand out from the rest appearance wise. A nice spot to enjoy some al fresco dining. Next door to Luciano and the last restaurant on this side of the street and also the biggest on the whole street is El Meson. This is a Spanish restaurant famous for its seafood and steaks. Over to the other side of the street and we've got Los Monteritos. This is a Spanish tapas bar. It's actually a chain and there are branches throughout Spain but you'll always see the Spanish making a beeline for this one. <laughs> We're finishing off at the newest bar on the street and the only specific cocktail bar. This is TikTok and I'm sure a few of you will be familiar with Julieta from her other bar she has in the old town. She's such a personality, a real breath of fresh air and so is this bar, a great list of cocktails and really reasonably priced. Something different but no, no. Alright? Yeah. So, find six you can really make 
make a night of it down here on the Calle Girona part of Midtown. You're spoilt for choice for food, you've got a cocktail bar, a sports bar and an entertainment bar. You can spend the whole night down here soaking up the Mediterranean atmosphere. So if you're looking for somewhere a little bit different, get yourself down to this part of town. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that beer mug in the corner and also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at the Benny Dorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.